doggos. Come here, Carl. Get over here. Ooh, my Carl. <laughs> Hello everyone, spoiler alert, we are back from Colombia. Yes. Uh, it was a pretty good trip, we got to see, you know, quite a bit of our bull species, so that was fun, but it wasn't as good as we were hoping, but we have tons of footage for you, we filmed so much, so those videos oh, are just God. taking a while to edit and get out to you, but we have to tell you about this exciting news. It feels so good to be back in Florida, be back home with all the animals everyone did so good while we we're gone we have all the good pet sitters and we're just excited to just adventure in florida just keep it simple not going crazy long trip just keep it easy keep it fun i think you guys are gonna love it so we have a really exciting surprise for you while we're in columbia we got contacted by the state if we could take in this really cool animal uh the owners didn't want it anymore so their loss is my gain and so we are super excited to get home at that point and we can't wait to show it to you. It's a very rare species too. Ooh, are you loving the head scratches, girl? So the craziest part, we actually saw the species in Colombia. It was super cool, first time seeing them. And the same day we saw the species is when the state called us to ask if we wanted to take in this unwanted animal. So it was meant to be. It was wild coincidence. I couldn't even believe Move. it. Oh, we gotta feed some snakes. We're doing the catch up on getting back. We got it. So we're actually super excited about the surprise that we keep talking about right now because it's actually a dream species of mine to own. Obviously, I'm never going to go and buy one because I don't believe in that or anything. But the fact that this is a dream species of mine and someone actually is contacting us to take one in that wasn't wanted anymore is just awesome. Yeah, this is can't believe it. And then poor Rhett, no one's given him a free Bushmaster. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, can, like, can we change the energy out there? Can you guys send, like, free Bushmasters and... Like something, you know, like, make him Rare vipers. Little, make him feel a little loved and wanted <laughs> by the universe. Thank you. Okay guys, so before we go on with the rest of the video, we are in the cage right now with the animal. We are going to be showing you at the end of this video. Uh, we're here at night when it's all dark to give you a little bit of a hint to know what it is. This animal is nocturnal, it's from the rainforest, and it's a re really rare species in captivity. Not many like zoos or anything have it. Probably mostly because it's nocturnal, but also because they're just rare in the trade. I don't think we've ever seen one in a zoo until... We're going to show you how we built the cage. We're going to show you how beautiful the cage is. And then at the end, you have to stay tuned because you're going to see our beautiful new addition. We are so excited and we are sorry we haven't uploaded in a while. There's just the two of us, a lot of animals, traveling, jobs. It's just so hard to be able to make videos and edit them while doing everyday life. So please stick around and let's get started. All right, so we got all the wood painted. Look how beautiful, or stained I should say, not painted. What? Oh wow, you like cleared, cleared. What was I not supposed to? It's fine, it's gonna go back. All right, so the other monkeys are over here. Um, we had to move some of our little growing fruit trees and this is where we're gonna put uh, it's gonna be behind a guava bush. We got a palm tree for shade. Little Bob the Builder back here uh, annihilated the palm trees, so it has a little less shade, but those are a real big- They're gonna grow, they're gonna grow back. It's yeah, okay. so we're just cutting them back because they're a fire hazard. And she now has this beautiful little corner all to herself. She's never lived outside, so. Yeah. She's been in a parrot cage for the last four years of life. Yeah, super sad. Let's get started. All right, first order of business. Taylor is leveling. Gonna dig out an area. We're gonna level it out to build this cage. Go Tay, go Tay, go Tay. And uh, I'm clearing the palms because it's kind of hard to see. These palms with like the world's largest spikes. Oh, oh no, what is it, Linda? You gonna protect everything? Ooh, Carl. Ven aquí, cucaracha. Ooh, we are back live. So we got it all leveled out. Um, this is gonna be 12 foot by eight foot by eight foot. We wanted to make it higher, but we just got home from Columbia. We're pretty uh, stressed on funds right now. So maybe someday we'll build them a bigger one, but the fact that this animal lived in a bird cage its whole life 
it should be very happy to have this upgrade. A huge upgrade yeah. for it, so we're going So, and uh, we're going to do the best what we have to make a pretty sweet, hopefully, pretty sweet cage. I mean, we built that giant capuchin cage for the tool. Oh, I like watching her work. She's so strong. Look at her. All those muscles. Protecting. I've lost them all from Colombia. I know. We're still, we're still skinny from Colombia. <laughs> well, let's get to it. What? All right, hold it together. Just hold it together. Okay, we know that's not true. Farmer Tay. All right, guys, check out the progress. We've got a lot of the framework done. Uh, we're just going to get the door framed out, a couple other things, and then we're going to start screening it. And uh, let's just watch it fall into place. Should be cool. Let's hurry up. Ooh, framing is done. Look how good it looks. Doors framed. Tay, what do you got there? Screen. Screen. All right, time to hang the screen, guys. Because So first we put a layer of screen that helps keep the bugs away because we have really horrible bugs here. And then it also keeps away the little snakes. Yeah. We want to protect the snakes and protect the bees from the snakes. Yeah, so because as you can see, we literally have woods and woods and woods all around us. Lots of snakes. So mm -hmm. lots of snakes, lots of bugs. Oh, we can kind of see, we can kind of see. We got the screen up and now we're cutting the wire and we're gonna hang the second layer. Uh, this this wire is the legal wire and the wire that keeps the in, the others keep bugs and snakes. Wait, right, right, right. Okay, go. No. All right, so while we were uh, building last night, Taylor found this really large snake shed. Uh, it's right about five feet. It's a, oh shit, I stepped on it and broke it in half. It's a red rat snake. All right, so the camera actually died last night and we just kept working all night and we made some awesome progress. Look at this, we got a uh, screen on all the sides, wire on two of the sides, and now we're gonna finish wiring it up and then we're gonna work on the roof and then the best part, which is decorating. Ah, <sighs> it is always something. Uh, this nail gun, our pancakes started leaking and now we have to hammer everything in by hand. We just finished this side and now we got Taylor to work one more and then the roof. Okay, so We've been busting our butts after work to get this thing done. We've been staying up to like 11, our GoPro dies, and we just keep working. We just are trying not to, you know, waste time. We want to get Olivia out of her little cage into here. All right, so now we are on to my favoritist part, decorating. We still have like to do a door and everything, but let's just decorate because it's fun and we're pretty much done on the inside of the cage. So let's get to the fun part, the yeah. girly part. She's going to decorate and then I'm going to build the door and then we're going to do a tri-sherry. So there's going to be a mini uh, cage outside so that if you're opening the main door and or the animal tries to run out you've got that door to catch it so you go in the first stage close it then you open the next door legally you don't need that but let's go see we still got to screen the top but let's show you what we got going on look how nice that is looking Ooh, bananas that corner will be our banana farm hey i like making taylor do heavy carrying stuff makes me feel womanly feminine Ooh, cocoa plums. Oh my gosh, it looks so barren. This is a hundred dollars of plants and it's already barren. Should I make it wider? This is wide enough, right? Yeah. It's that like really loose sand. Yeah. Farmer Tay, get over there. 
so uh, we are gonna cut some branches to use for this cage uh, it just it it works out really well we um, needed to trim some of these lower hanging branches and I think they'll go great in the cage and they're non-toxic yeah so that's like an important thing up there, babe. We're gonna let it go slow. Yeah. Okay, John Boat's okay. Huh? John Boat's okay. Calling in the big guns. We gotta trim this bad boy down. Come on. What's all that working out for if you can't carry a little? We haven't worked out in like three weeks. Nice. All right, teamwork ready. We'll pull it back. All right, I'm gonna have to trim some branches. Can you hold it? Ready? Oh yeah, look, first branch up. Looks good. We buy them these uh, coolers and then we cut open a space so it mimics like a tree cavity. That's where they hide during the day. That's also where they sleep. So um, we're going to cut this up and then we're going to hang it up in the top of the cage. Uh, I told Taylor we should paint it. She voted no. Okay, and now they've got a little cavity. I'll even it out and then cover up the foam and uh, we're good to go. Uh, final steps are happening. We're doing the door. Look how beautiful that door is. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. So we finally finished, guys. Inside. The plants will fill out and look great in a while. So look, big sticks to climb on for a little house. All right. Let's get her in. It has been a lot of work to finish this with just the two of us. So this is the awesome little creature we got. This is Olivia. She is an owl monkey. She's nocturnal. Uh, well, she's supposed to be, but in both of her other homes, they did not keep her nocturnal. So she's kind of adjusting to that. This is her quarantine cage to make sure, you know, everything's looking good. She's looking healthy. She's underweight, but otherwise doing well. So let's put her in a new house. And she has spent her whole life in a bird cage pretty close to this size yeah so this hasn't been like a very stressful week it only took us a few days to build the cage mm -hmm. and now she gets to go into here look at those beautiful eyes she's so beautiful get scissors yeah they're in my pocket we are going to introduce her with us in here we spent some time hanging out with her. She seems to be pretty nice and gentle. She could bite us. She could mess us up, but we'll see. Hey. It's your new house. What a crazy creature. She has like the most beautiful coffee eyes. Aren't they crazy? Oh, she's just hanging out with you, the monkey whisperer. <laughs> Monkeys always like you. Let her explore. She's coming back to you. I can't believe she just like hops out of the cage and is like totally fine with you. If you guys notice, the monkeys never come over to me. I think I'm little, so I'm less intimidating. All right, so I am surprised how much this monkey loves Taylor. We thought we were gonna put her in here and she was gonna run around and play or just like rip up plants, check out stuff, eat some food but uh, all she wants to do is sit on Taylor and be groomed. 
All right, guys, we are back in the cage with Olivia. It is, what, three days now that she's been in here? Yeah, so she was very nervous at first when we put her in the cage. I was surprised because when I picked her up from the facility, she was crazy. She was running around the room, running from me, of course, because I was a stranger. Uh, so I expect her to be crazy monkey out here, but she was actually very nervous. I think it was the first time she's really ever been in a large enclosure in a large space where she can roam freely and just be a monkey and she didn't know how to be a monkey because she's lived her whole life in a big bird cage but really it's bird cage the size of me so she's finally you know day three she's roaming around exploring there she goes she even learned how to use her hide last night so that was exciting uh, but the first few days we actually had to come in and like hang out with her and feed her because she was just too nervous to even go to her food and eat so she's transitioning really well so unfortunately guys captivity like really just primates uh, they're such intelligent animals that when they're not given their basic needs like affection socializing space to move around it just mentally messes them up just like birds in captivity three days in She's doing great and it's like makes us so happy. We're working with mammals and primates. It's very important that we keep our voices low. We keep a non-threatening tone. We don't move a lot, especially our hands because uh, primates do not like hands. They don't trust hands because they know what they can do with theirs, especially because our hands are so much bigger than theirs. Like our hands are like the size of their, or their whole bodies. Mm -hmm. So we have to be calm and quiet and just subtly affectionate and gentle. Uh, we never go over to them and bring them to us. We wait for them to come to us. Mm -hmm. She's both. so soft and she's so light. Like when she lands on us, she has like, it, you don't feel it. It feels like a little bird landing on your shoulder and she's all hair. I wish you guys could feel her. Has anyone ever felt uh, a chinchilla? She feels, to me, she feels just like a chinchilla. She's incredibly soft. And a lot of times they have this really dense, soft fur. It helps keep the insects. So, you know, we were just in Colombia and we, we saw these in Colombia and they live in very insect-filled jungles. When I got to the facility, I was getting Olivia and they're like, will you take the other animal too? Just cause I'm so amazing, like I said. And I said, oh, I'll do that. So I, was, so I had a surprise rat with uh, two animals. She went in for one and I was like, okay, yeah, all monkeys cool. Yeah, sure, babe. And she came home with two monkeys. We'll show you the other one in another video. Yes, we can't. So don't trust me out yeah. with animals. But the facility was caring for the two and they were, they had yes, put so a lot facility, of weight back on. Yeah, the facility did everything they could. They brought the animals to the vet. The facility's open to the public, so for Olivia being a nocturnal animal, it was also kind of keeping her up during the day, so just not natural, and they just wanted what's best for her. So I was contacted, of course, took her in, and her and the other animal have been doing great right away. I mean, they're in quarantine at our house, which we do when we get new animals, because you never know really what they're coming from. But basically, the original owners got rid of them, didn't want them anymore, and they are getting a, another animal, is what I heard, to dress up and be all cute and stuff for a few years. So that is the sad truth about primates, is they're super cute as babies. I mean, we see what happened with Toby. Had him for nine years till he turned aggressive on me, but we don't give up. We keep them. We just, you know, they're not cute little babies anymore. So all monkeys are native to Central and South America. We Did we end up seeing them in Panama? I don't think so, right? No, we only saw them in Colombia. They're super hard to find. There's really not much research done on wild ones because they're nocturnal, so it's very hard to find animals at night that are 30, 40, 50 feet up. Oh, the ones we saw were in the primary forest yeah. in the very tops. We could barely we see, could them see them with the, the binoculars. Shine, they're the only nocturnal monkey, not primate, but monkey. They are called owl monkeys because you can see those big, beautiful owl-like eyes. Ooh, girl, stretch, girl. Ooh, yes. Give me that leg. Mm. And also night monkeys because they're obviously nocturnal. She's falling asleep. Do you love her? Yeah. I, I'm very happy we got her. When it shows a lot of trust laying on your back, no defense mode or anything. You're so good with you're so good with mammals. We got some bananas, apples, strawberries, papaya. We have a canned primate diet which has essentials, vitamins, and all of that. And then we got some insects. And then because I want to put some weight on her, we did give her some protein pasta and Cheerios. Normally don't give primates like super sugary things or anything like that, but I do want to put a little bit of weight on her. And she is a little bit of a picky eater right now, so we'll give her what she wants. Okay everyone, so I hope you enjoyed the surprise and you're just as excited as we are. 
and we're just so happy that we can open our homes and yard for another uh, animal and help out the unwanted. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I know it's out of order. We have the Columbia videos now. We're working on them. They're pretty cool. Yeah, you're going to like what we found there. It was, it was a nice trip. It wasn't as expected or as planned, but it, we're glad <laughs> we to be home. We always make it work. So, But we got lots of fun Florida adventures coming up, so don't forget to like, subscribe, yeah. um, and we'll see you next time. See you next time.